This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools. And this is an overview of Mrs. Kruger's East Bridgewater Science Teacher, um, her website that we created with her Google Forms that are meant to track um, daily homework. So she gives notes and videos um, as homework and wants to be able to accurately check those um, in a quick way to walk around her room um, and be able to kind of just mark it quick on her phone because she was running into the barrier of having post-it notes and having a million post-it notes all over her computer and then she'd have to go back and enter them and it just wasn't efficient. She sees over 80 kids every day so we need an efficient way to do this and she wants to make sure that kids are you know being credited when they're doing great work. So we made these forms and we connected these forms to QR codes but we didn't want the students to have access to the form. And let me show you an example of one of the forms. Looks like there's a lot of forms there, but it was actually quite easy to do this because we simply just duplicated the form. So when she sees the form, it looks like this. And what's great about Google Forms is if you have a sheet, if you can export your student information to a Google Sheet or an Excel Sheet, if you do copy all of the student names, you can simply right click paste into the drop down menu and all student names will appear. So I'm not going to show you that because this is confidential information. I'll click it quickly um, or not. There we go. And that will paste in all those names. So she can quickly bring this up, choose the kid, and then choose the status. And she only marks for um, these three reasons. So she's not marking all kids that are completed. That's just um, a given. She just wants to know if they're absent. So that way she knows that she needs to check in with them or if they're half done or not done and that helps her. So I made this Google form and then simply had to drop in the names for each one. Then we went and created the website, which is great because on the website, you can create it so that way it's only accessible by a certain person. So even though she'll have a QR code that will link to this website, the students, even if they scan it, cannot. No one else can actually link to this website except Mrs. Kruger and myself. So if she goes to this Section 5 area, you'll notice this is her Section 5 class. And what we did was on this particular page, we got the link from just this page and created its own QR code. So this is what the website looks like on its own. And then she'll have this appear on her mobile device as she walks around the room. We put the QR codes right in here in this folder for her. And what she can do is either just have these up in the room somewhere for herself to easily scan. Once scanned, she could simply bookmark these on her mobile device if she so wishes. Or she could have the students attach them in their agenda books if she found or on the assignment itself. And you'll see that we labeled section 5, 6, 7, and 8. And again, as I stated before um, in a previous video, I do like to use bit.do for these QR codes, there they are. And that was a great way to make a process that wasn't efficient now a little bit more efficient. Thank you.